Welcome! In this video, I'll show you how to add characters and dialogue using the Unreal Visual Novel template, which is now on sale in the Unreal Marketplace. So, the first thing you need to know is how to add your characters. You can either add them from the, from the blueprint or in the detail panel. In this example, I'm going to be adding them from the detail panel. So first, all we need to do is find our character tab. Character setup. Here it is, character setup. So once you find it, just look for this little arrow and click on that as well. Now, we have the character list. This here is where we add our characters. And as you can see, we have two characters. It's character 0 and 1, which you don't need to know. You don't have to remember the index. Anyways, so the first character is Saki. So, yeah, you, here you add the name, obviously. And here will be all the expressions. But for my character, I only have three expressions. Her being normal, happy, and sad. Normal is the default. So whatever you put in normal will be always be the default character. Or the, de the default sprite. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to open number one, and this character is you know. And again, same thing. If you have extra ex um, expressions, you just need to add them into the expression slots here. I, again, I only had to read them for each character, for these two characters. Alright, so, and that's about it. That's how you add a character. Or actually, to add the character, you had to press this. The plus icon. So now we add another character. So this should would you enter here the third character. Alright, so we just give them any name, which I don't have a third character, but oops, third player. Third character. And then you'll just add the sprite at the sprite expressions, which I don't have. So yeah, that's about it on how to actually add a character. So we don't actually need this guy. Still, you know, right now. Alright, so next we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to add the dialogue. So now that the character is done, we add dialogue, obviously. So uh, go up to blueprints, dialogue, dialogue script. Example story is just an example I made. So when you uh, purchase this, you just add it into the blueprint. To run this script instead of the other script, and I'll just be an example of like how how it works, basically. But in this tutorial, we will be using the dialog script. All right, so in the dialog script, as you can see, there's a quite few options. So, first one is the name. The name is actually where you enter your character's name. And that will be displayed on screen. But in this here, it says that if name isn't matched from the character list, then it's a narrator. So basically, if this name does not match the characters we added earlier, then it won't be a character and it will be a narrator. And the text will continue on as a narrator instead of as a as a character speaking. This also allows you to uh, use the name as a comment section if you need it. So here the next one is dialogue. Dialogue is where you write your script and probably where you'll be spending most of your time on. So basically this is where you, yeah, I just said, anyways, you write your script, right? And then here we got this pause. So what is this? This is the custom commands. So in this case, this is a custom command that I made pre-built, which is pause. Basically, the dialogue, so when it's being played, it will read welcome. And then it will pause and wait for the user's input. So the script won't continue until the player presses a thing, and then the script will continue and, and it will say, this is the first line to appear simple now the location this is where you want to put your character so we got three locations left center and right self-explanatory easy 
Easy stuff, easy. Alright, so now next one, extra options. Okay, so in this example, yeah, it's not even a character because this is supposed to be a, just a narrator, right? That's why nothing really set up. So nothing, alright, so right now it's set to nothing. Nothing actually means default. Okay, so the default will, will always be nothing. That means so that you, you just leave out default if you don't want the character expressions to change. Or I mean to nothing if you don't want the character expressions to change. Right? So like say, oh, she's normal. Instead of going, say Saki is normal, right? Instead of doing it for every single dialogue every time she speaks you just leave it on nothing and the only time you need to change it is when something does happen like oh in this dialogue she's now sad and then you could just put it back to nothing and she'll always be sad until you change it into normal or whatever that's what nothing does it means don't change the expression all right so the next one is background background that's pretty self-explanatory as well you, here's where you change the background and sets up a new scene okay so when you change it it actually has a faded background it, it fades into this new background just to let you know sound cue so sound cue plays a cue at the beginning of a dialogue example you want to play the sound of a girl laughing so we'll just set this dialogue to a ha ha sound, right? Which I have it right here. Ha ha ha. So I want to hear it. How you play it? Can you play it from here? No, I guess. Not. Anyways, so say he, girls laughing in her dialogues, right? So the dialogue instead of saying this is saying ha 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 ha, right? Then you will just want to put a sound cue that says ha 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 as well. Yeah, I know, nothing too much here. Anyways, um, yeah, that's about it. That's what sound cue does. It just plays the sound, plays the sound cue at the beginning of a dialogue. Music cue. Now this will play as a music, and so it'll continue no matter what. It, usually, you want to set up your own loop. So here I have game song which is the cue which loops so again this just like background it doesn't change until you change it again and it also fades out and fades in when you put a new one alright next one we got dialogue options so I'll use the next row for this since this actually has dialogue option so here this line doesn't appear because dialogue options are given. That means that I could type whatever in here and it won't be displayed because what will be displayed are dialogue options. So just to let you know, once you write a dialogue option in here, it will overwrite everything else up here. It, like, this stuff won't even matter anymore. Alright, so anyways, yeah, uh, so here's the options. I will pick the first choice. I will pick the second choice. And then we got here, row choice. Intro first choice, and index one of row choice will be intro second choice. Alright, so here, here's the breakdown, okay? So this here will be what is displayed. So if the player picks the first choice, intro first choice will be played. Or uh, or red. So what do I mean by red? If you look right here, intro first choice, this line will be red now. And then Saki will appear and say, "Oh, thank you for picking the first choice." Right. Or if the player picked the second choice, you know will appear instead and say, "Oh, thank you for picking the second choice." You know whatever. And then, uh, okay, so I want to, sh so here's, here's another example of how to add. So we'll add this. This will be our third choice. And I will type, I will pick the third choice. Exclamation mark. 
And now, we will add a new one. Because this is now, now this one will be connected to our third choice, which I will call it intro third. Did I spell third right? No, that's wrong. Third choice. I don't even know which one's spelled right. Ah, whatever. Okay, so now when the player picks, I will pick the third choice. Intro third choice will be played. But we do not have one. So now we will have to make it. Now, so we just have to press this. And there's our new row. So first things first, we must change this name to intro third choice. So now we got the intro third choice, with, which kind of looks can't check. No, yeah. Guess can't, oh wait, maybe this one. There we go. Okay, so now we had that. Let's put this down a little so I can see. So now we got this. Now we go back here. Get player. No, wait, wait, wrong one. Get dialogue choice. So now the player picks this. This role will be called, which will be here, and this will actually be played. And to add a dialog, you just press plus, and thing. And now we'll add, we'll make Saki come up, and she will say, "Oh, you picked the third choice." Dot 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 dot, and and she will be. I don't know, left side, which in the left, center, or the right, no, she's on the right side, so put her on the right side, okay, oh, you picked the third choice, and then, you know, it's gonna come in, right, you know, since so she's gonna be speaking, that's too bad, dot, 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 and then, We'll add command the end. The end means it's over. That's it. It's done. Finish. Okay, so now now let's play it. Play. Start. Do, 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 do. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, I forgot. I changed it. So now we got the I will pick the third choice. And then she'll, oh, you picked the third choice. And then, that's too bad. The end. Okay, so, yeah, I made a mistake somewhere here. The mistake is the end is actually, it's actually end, not the end. Alright. So, yeah. I wrote the wrong command. I wrote it down the, the word the end. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, there you go. That should be right. And you can just click skip if you don't want to read. Wow, oh, that was super fast. The end. And there you have it. And that's how you add choices. Uh, yep, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'll uh, be adding more videos later or something something.